Donatella, Donatella. I mean, it's just amazing, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> My name is Michaela McCampbell, the fashion designer and founder for the fashion design brand, Max Smith. And welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I am super excited to be doing this video because I am going to be talking about the 2024 Grammys best look or best dress people for the most part best dress but I'm going to be going over some of the Grammy looks that were really popular and that I've been seeing a lot on the internet I just grabbed 10 um, selective people who I just wanted to discuss some people who were very popular for the night and some others um, who maybe not have performed at the Grammy or have won a Grammy maybe just been Grammy nominated so I definitely wanted to go over 10 people for this category of just going over fashion and critiquing so definitely stay tuned if you guys haven't already please subscribe to my channel and also give this video a thumbs up as well this year's grammys i mean it was definitely woman driven there were so many woman nominations and wins for a lot of women in a lot of categories for the grammys which i loved and i've been loving how women and music have been having their moment it's just been really thriving so definitely that was a plus before we get started comment below if you guys have you guys felt about a lot of the categories and some of the winners? I feel like there were some people who should have won a Grammy in some of the selective categories. And I thought that some people, there are some people who are in selective categories who probably shouldn't have been there. Let me know what you guys think below about the Grammy. Just, I just want to see you guys thoughts on it because while I was watching the Grammy Awards, I was like, how did this person win? And then I was like, okay, why is this person in this category? And some people I thought really should have won because their song or... I thought there were certain people who've been snubbed of the Grammys for sure, who I thought deserved a Grammy. But definitely know what, let me know what you guys' thoughts are this below before we get into the video and looking over the fashion on the red carpet and just in the Grammys in general. So for my first person I wanted to go over for the Grammys of 2024 was none other than Miley Cyrus. And I think Miley Cyrus, first of all, there was a huge tribute to the late Tina Turner that Fantasia performed and debuted on the Grammy stage, which was such a beautiful tribute. I think she's super talented. The costumes were beautiful. So because it was a tribute to Tina Turner, I felt like Miley Cyrus look was a tribute to Tina Turner considering this is something that Tina Turner would normally wear and she was known for this kind of look. Miley Cyrus was wearing a custom Mason Margiela by John Galliano. Love this look was actually from their Arsenal 2020 for collection too and i also read that this look to create it took 675 hours from a selective team of craftsmen people just to make this dress and it was also created using 14,000 pins safety pins that were gold to create this look and you guys this custom look made for Miley Cyrus I just really loved I thought it was a beautiful tribute to the late Tina Turner and it gave that rock and roll edgy cool girl vibe I wasn't really a hot fan of Miley Cyrus's hair but I think she's a beautiful woman nonetheless I think the dress looked great on her and honestly, you guys, the way this dress just moved in such a fluid movement as she walked over her, I mean, just the V hemline, and I loved how there was a mini train in the front of the dress. It was all gold. It was beautiful. It gave gold, rockin' edge, superstar, and just fit her body so well at the same time. And this was definitely a win for me. I think for me, if I would have done something different, I probably would have done something different on her hair. Uh, maybe slicked it back. Some people, because she did such a full tribute to Tina Turner, I mean, Tina Turner was known for her big, exotic, 
fluffy hair. So I think that was also a part of the costume tribute, the hair to her. So for me, I wasn't a huge fan of it. I think she could have done something more like slick back and still had the big hair on top. But nonetheless, I mean, Miley Cyrus, she looked beautiful and she actually won her first Grammy as well. So I think it was just a beautiful special night for her overall. Next up, we have the first time Grammy winner Victoria Monet and she was wearing no other than Versace by Donatella Versace. This dress took 350 hours to make. It was a satin tulle gown that had a semi-transparent bustier on top and so much boning. It was beautiful on her you guys. Dress it blended into her skin, but it looked so beautiful. I mean, it was the same color tone as her skin. It gave like a bronze, brown, warm tone, kind of glossy satin hue. And I honestly feel like it just made her skin glow so much more. And her skin was just so bright and glowy. It just looked so dewy and beautiful. I think she looked beautiful. She was wearing Bulgari jewelry and just her long satin train that just had this fluid movement as she walked on the red carpet. I mean, I think she looked so beautiful. And her hair, everything from her hair, her jewelry, her dress, everything fit perfectly. It was chic, it was simple, but there were so many simple details in it that just made the gown even so much more beautifully detailed. And it shaped her body really well. And it just felt like it was made for her, that custom gown, and it, she just looks so stunning. Next up, we have no other person than Beyonce, of course. I had to throw Beyonce in. I'm a huge fan of Beyonce. But Beyonce, she was wearing Louis custom Louis Vuitton by Pharrell Williams. And she was actually wearing the men's collection for the fall winter 2024 season. Crystal embellishment following the Louis Vuitton classic monogram. I thought it was so beautiful. I mean, that checkered monogram look that they're known for, it was super cool. And I loved how she paired it with a cowboy hat, considering Pharrell, his latest collection was very Western theme, which I thought was such a perfect and cute fit, following that she's from Houston, Texas. And even her Renaissance, Tour. I mean, it was very star studded. I mean, you had cowboy hats and Beyonce. I think she looked really great in this outfit. I love the leather jacket. And she actually, on her Instagram, you guys, if you guys are following her, she did give us two kind of looks. So she had the same leather jacket with button up blouse and like the skinny tie but she had a mini skirt on it that matched the monogram jacket. And for the second look on her Instagram, I thought it was really cool because there was actually another pair of matching trousers that were leather that also matched the monogram Louis Vuitton jacket that she gave us two different options of looks on her Instagram pictures, but in the Grammy, she showed up in the leather skirt. And nonetheless, she looked beautiful. I think the cow boy hat or cow girl hat was such a cute little accessory. It was super fun and it kind of just like hit her face. It was simple, chic, but still a little bit of rock star and I love the sparkle in it. Just perfect for the Grammy. She completely skipped the red carpet, but in the gr actual Grammys, I thought she looked stunning. I mean, she never disappoints and I love how she showed us the full look on her actual Instagram. I think everything from head to toe looked beautiful. I would love to see this look with curly hair too because I love it when she curls her hair. And I don't know because it was raining during the Grammy. A lot of the pictures inside the Grammys when she was actually inside, her hair did look kind of like frizzy, but I would have loved to seen her wear like the big curls. I feel like the curls, if she did curl her hair, it would have gave it more of like an elevated, like diva feel, like more glamorous. For me, I'm the type of person to do the more and merrier, that's just my opinion. In some of the pictures, I don't know if it's just the lighting or the shade, but nonetheless, you guys, her outfit, I mean, her body, like she just looks so beautiful. I love Beyonce. Yeah. The next celebrity on this list is Carol G, and she was wearing Marmar Halim, which is a bridal fashion designer based from Dubai. And I thought she looked amazing. This piece, 
It was, I mean, we're seeing the sheer transparent tool and another bustier. I've been seeing a lot of bustiers for the theme of this night, you guys. And all of them have been hitting so well and looking so beautiful. I feel like bustiers are such a classic piece. They never disappoint. And they shape the body so well. I mean, they were designed to shape a woman's body beautifully. And all these bustiers that we've been going through so far, did not disappoint and looked so beautiful. Comment below if you guys also agree about this whole boosty A on gowns. I mean, I'm in love with all of them. And I think Carol G, she looked amazing. I mean, this green foam gray vibe she had going on, beautiful. She had her soft pink hair, adding color, making it fun. And there's something about her aura. I mean, every time I see Carol G, she just has this infectious, sweet energy about her that I'm just so drawn to. Let me know if you guys also agree in the comments below. And I also learned that she broke history at the Grammys Awards night when she was the first female reggaeton singer and artist to ever win a Grammy. So kudos to her. I definitely had to go over that because I mean, that's just amazing. I mean, there are so many historic Grammy wins, Grammy night. I mean, it's just amazing, you guys. I love this train. Again, I'm seeing another gown that has a huge train to it. And I think that was just the theme of the night. I mean, bustiers, vintage, old Hollywood feel with the modern twist have just been such a theme this night and I'm loving it. Next up on our list, we have Taylor Swift wearing Scaparelli by Daniel Roseberry. And this Scaparelli dress, it's another bustier that is an off white and silk crepe gown attached to it and in the back there is so many lacing details and eyelet details and i thought this was beautiful on her thigh on the bottom half where the long train was you guys i loved how it was pleated and gathered on her higher thigh i think it added such a beautiful romantic and a bit of like a sexy appeal to her overall look i think she looked beautiful in it i think the long corset i mean it's very scott pirelli scott pirelli's known for that old glamorous vintage but yet modern artistic feel Caparelli never disappoints i mean if you guys have been following me a while on this channel you know how much we love scott pirelli over here and this was definitely a hit. Taylor Swift also paired this look with a bunch of choker necklaces. One of the choker necklaces were actually a watch, you guys, so I thought that was super cool. Her hair, I wasn't a huge fan of her hair, to be honest. I think because there was so much going on with the choker necklaces, I probably would have pinned her hair back if I were to critique her overall look, because I feel like the hair wasn't doing much, but just covering some of like all of this and distracting what was going on for her necklaces and her bustier i probably just would have moved her hair back to really accentuate like her shoulder bones and her body because i think that she has a nice like collarbone you know and like she has a pretty face i think i just would have pushed the hair back to like really accentuate her face nonetheless i think she looked really beautiful in it you guys i think the off white it's definitely refreshing to see white and i think that scaparelli really did a brilliant job with creating a white gown that doesn't look so bridal by adding, you know, like the crazy lace on it, by adding the high slit to it. And I like how it was accessorized with all the necklaces because I feel like if she did have more elegant jewelry pieces, it would have came off as bridal more so than like an extravagant gala you know awards night kind of vibe so i think the way that they accessorize it was brilliant and helpful more so to the overall <whistles> vibes and motivation next up on our list for the grammys fashion list is tyla and she was wearing versace by donatella versace this dress was a custom georgette gown with fluid draping and crystal embroidery and there is actually one nude sleeve with a crystal mesh net to it i didn't even notice until she was doing on carpet interviews before walking into the grammys i didn't see the sleeve it was had one sleeve on it and I didn't see it until she was up close to the camera because it's a nude sleeve. I just like that edge to it. It was unexpected, the sleeve. I don't think that gown needed a sleeve because I think just looking at it, 
there were so many cutouts and there was so much going on within the dress but the sleeve was okay it was cute i don't think it needed a sleeve because i think she looked amazing in it the dress accentuated her body beautifully and i love the cutout and every single cutout it had like a trim of a crystal kind of ribbon lining to it and i love the crystal mesh on some of the cutouts it was just so unexpected it gave an edgy yet fluid feel like an ocean and i was watching the vogue behind the scenes get ready with me for the grammys uh, where her stylist was also talking about how the whole idea for her dress and her gown that night was to give like a sparkly ocean effect obviously for her grammy win for the sway like water song that she has i think they nailed it with that idea and concept for her look for this night i think she looked beautiful the dress was beautiful i also want to add i loved her heels i thought her heels her crystal heels were beautiful and her earrings they almost look like seashell earrings and she even had like seashell clips in her hair she looked very euphoric this was this look was definitely a hit next up on our list for the grammys fashion is coco jones and she was wearing a greek designer named celia catharoni or catharthotti i'm so bad with names especially like last names now, comment below if you guys ever heard of this greek designer i've never heard of a greek designer that's why i loved watching you know like award shows and just shows in general because you learn so much about designers from like all over the world but honestly you guys this dress on coco jones was so stunning that crystal blue mesh on her brown skin tone really brought a glow to her skin complexion i mean her skin just glowed she looked beautiful i love the deep plunge v neckline and i mean that dress just fitted around her like it was meant for her that it just hung off her body almost like water and i think the crystal mesh another hot theme i've been seeing too like mesh and crystallized garments item that we've been seeing a lot in these award shows and with this trend i mean it looks amazing on her the crystal mesh it's a very simple chic and classic look that you just can't go wrong with but for her i think because she had a darker skin complexion with this light blue crystal mesh it worked beautifully i mean her hair was up and her jewelry her earrings they all complemented each other really well i mean the gemstones were just doing it the crystals were doing it and she just looked amazing she had a mini train as well she looked beautiful next up on our list we have Ice Spice. This one I have mixed feelings on, I'm not gonna lie, but I definitely wanted to add her to this list of 10 celebrities that went to the Grammys Awards because I don't know, I don't like, it's either you love it or you hate it. And I'm kind of in between, like I do love it because when I think of Ice Spice style, I always see her in the Y2K, early 2000s, girl next door, like best friend. We see her like in those kind of looks. So I'm like, okay, when you look at it, you, oh my God, this is Ice Spice. Like this is her kind of style. This works for her and who she is. But then at the same time, this baby fat look that she was wearing was a custom two piece baby fat look and it was all denim it was a denim maxi skirt that fit her it was almost like a mermaid skirt but it had a long denim train on the back and then she had this baby fat dark denim jacket like denim jacket with fur fur trimmed on the handcuffs as well as the collar and of course she had her signature curly hair pixie cut which i love i love how she rocks her curly hair i don't know let me know you guys thoughts below on how you feel because i'm thinking for the grammys i'm like uh, i don't know how i feel about this uh baby fat is a very very trendy brand that is Y2K era, which is something that Spice usually wears and her style is. It represents her style well. And the maxi skirt 
did look really well on her body. I mean, she has a beautiful, thick body, and I think they looked really well on her body. I loved how she had wore that maxi skirt. I love a good fur moment. Um, I loved how her the fur trimmings match her hair color, like her orange hair color. I thought that was super cute. I don't know how I felt about that, because I'm like, for the Grammys, I don't know. But for Ice Spice, I like it. But for the Grammys, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think below on it. If she were to wear that to like the Billboard Awards, I'd be like, okay. But for the Grammys, I don't know. Like I have mixed vi like vibes and feelings on it. Comment below what you guys think and your thoughts are on it. If you guys also agree or another point of view, I love how she has her own style and she owns it. But I definitely had to put her on here because what's fashion and what's style if it's not a little bit controversial? Next up, we have Billie Eilish wearing a Barbie varsity jacket that was reworked by Chrome Hearts for a white button-up blouse and a skinny black tie with matching black trousers. Billie Eilish I mean, of course, she, when it comes to fashion, she's very unapologetic. She wears things true to herself, what she feels comfortable in, what she likes. And I love that about her. I definitely wanted to add her to this list for fashion moments, just to get a different range. And again, this is the Grammys and it's Billie Eilish, just like Ice Spice. Like it's their own personalities wearing these kind of items. But then again, it's a Grammy, so I don't know. I don't know how I felt about this. I mean, she was wearing a Barbie varsity jacket to represent the Barbie movie. I think she won like four Grammys and a couple of the Grammys was definitely from the soundtrack song that she sung for the Barbie movie and she won a Grammy for. I'm assuming a Barbie jacket was to represent the Barbie movie. Billie Eilish, I mean, at the end of the day, she's Billie Eilish. I think she's a beautiful woman. No, there's not really much to say about this look. With this look, I feel like because her uniform, when she does go out, is like trousers, big oversized jeans or oversized pants with an oversized jacket. I know that's her uniform and it's very much her style, but I'm feeling a little bit underwhelmed because I'm like, oh, she could have, added more spice to her outfit. But at the same time, I'm also like, it's Billie Eilish though. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think below how you guys feel about this outfit. For me, I'm a bit underwhelmed because I think that she could have still been Billie Eilish, but like really added a cool, elevated twist to this look. Like her style team could have done a little bit more with this look. like had like a weird funky hat or shoes or something else other than um like her outfit that she was wearing for the Grammys night. Last but certainly not least we have Janelle Monet wearing custom Giorgio Armani. I definitely had to add Janelle Monet on this list because you guys Every time she goes to any award show, any show, gala, event, she always shows up in fashion, the weirdest, funkiest, unique fashion. She takes so many fashion risks, you guys, and that's what fashion and style is about. Experimenting, having fun, taking fashion risks, wearing things that suit you and your style and represent who you are, what you like. And Janelle Monet, I mean, she looked stunning in this Giorgio Armani piece. It was another black gown. And this black gown was strapless. It had a bustier with crystal embellishments. And on the bottom belt line of the gown, it looked like almost like a crystal studded flower on top of it. and. You guys, I was like blown away when I saw her on her Instagram photos with the red background because she just looks so beautiful. I think the dark black fabric against her skin really just made her skin so glowy. And I think she looked beautiful. I love how she kept that pixie cut she usually has and it just brought out her face structure more. And you guys, she just looks stunning in this, honestly. And this dress also had a train as well. 
this whole night we were going for that extravagant dramatic classic look on a lot of these stars that did show up and i think it was just overall beautiful some of the looks were controversial and some of them also stayed true to a typical grammys elevated style so let me know what you guys think about all these looks in the comments below i really want to hear what your thoughts are on it all and just in general about how you guys feel about the grammys i feel like now a lot of people like the bigger artists don't show up as often to the grammys so sometimes it's kind of like a hit or miss when i am watching award shows i don't get into award shows as much as i used to growing up because i feel like now the artists that i grew up with some that are still very relevant to this day don't show up as much anymore the grammys aren't what they used to be do you guys feel that way too? Like I don't watch a lot of award shows anymore like I used to. Let me know what you guys think below on just everything in general. And if you guys haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and also give this video a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.